mukbang. Um, today we are going to have chipotle. Ta -da! So chipotle is one of my favorite um, like fast food fast food restaurants, I guess. Um, I don't know if you would consider it a fast food restaurant, but they serve food pretty fast. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got. So first of all, I got chips. I got salsa and chips. Um, so for salsa, I got the hot um, and the mild one. So I always get these two both because um, I like the chunkiness in the mild, but I like the spiciness in the hot. Um, so yeah, I got two. Um, and then for the main dish, I got barbacoa. So I got a bowl instead of a burrito just so um, it's cleaner when I'm eating, it doesn't fall everywhere, and also um, I feel like the portion is bigger. <laughs> I don't know if that's a fact, but usually if you want um, bigger portions as a burrito, it like it falls everywhere. Um, yeah, so uh, this is what I get. So I'm gonna mix it up real quick. Um, I did get extra lettuce, but it doesn't seem like a whole ton. Like, can you see? Like, just top part, just a little bit. I, I'm expecting it to kind of like explode, but nah, it's it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so what I got in the actual uh, main dish is, um, I got brown rice. I got black. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So I got brown rice, I got black beans, um, I got cheese, and the actual barbacoa meat, um, and lettuce, and the also the mild and hot salsa. I think that's it, right? Uh, yeah, that's it. I didn't get sour cream because I feel like it's too, too much, it's too heavy, and yeah, I just, I didn't, I don't usually get sour cream. Okay, right now it's 3.05 I'm so hungry. Did not eat Did not eat lunch yet mm. So good Okay, let me just mm, Put it here And then I'm just gonna tear this all up. Yep, yeah, like so. You guys can see. Oh, and I am drinking ginger ale, Canada dry ginger ale. This is by far my favorite kind of pop. I also have some, have some ice here. So let me just pour this in. It's so good and refreshing. Mm. So good. So the reason why Chipotle is one of my favorite fast food restaurants is because one, it's healthy. It's pretty healthy. It has Mm, lettuce, tomatoes, the meat, protein, and some carbs, the rice. Um, it's well balanced and it's also, number two, one of the foods that you can eat cold um, because if you know me, I hate my food cold, um, especially like noodles, noodle soup. Oh. If it's cold, I just rather not eat it. It's just, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
so good. I'm sorry if you keep seeing like reflection in my glasses because I have windows all over here and I want good lighting but like it's not it won't look good if like I open all my blinds because otherwise like you, can, you wouldn't even see my eyes okay so for the salsa I'm going to put it in this tray so it makes dipping a little bit easier. I'm just going to mix it. Yes. Yeah, so it looks like this. Mm -hmm. So it's chunky, but also has like a really good spiciness to it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's let's try one of these chips. Mmm. Take a bite. Yummy. Mmm. Sorry, I'm just seeing like which direction my glasses don't reflect. <laughs> I feel like at this angle, it doesn't reflect. Maybe I should just set up my camera like at this angle next time. Yeah, but eh. hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Yeah, glasses is my favorite accessory. It also serves as a dual purpose for me. So I am pretty, I have pretty bad eyesight and both of my eyes like um, are like have a pretty big difference in terms of like um, the severeness of myopia. Myopia, which is um, nearsightedness. Here we go. Now we have everything in the shot. <laughs> it's not like set up super pretty or anything, but as long as you can see everything, that's what matters, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed the grilled veggies episode that I filmed with uh, me and my friend JC. Um, yeah, she's she already went to France and I miss her a lot. Um, hopefully we can do this again because it was so fun just, just sitting down having a chat with her and, um, and just eat. <laughs>
I realized I never showed you guys a bite of my main dish. So, okay, let's see. Ah, it's gonna, it's gonna fall. Okay, let's, let's try to do this without it falling. There you go. Can you see that? Hopefully it focuses. If it doesn't, mmm, yum, take a bite. Yes. Mmm. Okay, so I do have um, news to share with you guys because if you can recall from my, I think it was the homemade burgers video, I was talking about adopting a puppy. So the news is I got a puppy. <laughs> so he's actually just right there, excuse me, just like sleeping right now in his crate um which was like the perfect time because i needed to film this video um and he's just sleeping he's just he just he just yeah he just fell to deep sleep <laughs> i thought he was gonna like whine or something when i put him in the crate but no he got pretty used to it mm. So, because I got a new puppy, that's kind of why I haven't been super consistent with my uploads. But hopefully soon, I'll establish that routine and then I can figure things out. Because getting a puppy literally is like having a baby, like a newborn baby. You gotta potty train it, you gotta teach it words, um, you gotta train him. So a little bit more about my puppy. I got him, was it last? Yeah, last Monday. So it's just a little bit over a week. Sorry, that glare reflection on my glasses is kind of bothering me. Yeah, so I got my puppy. A little over a week and he's been adjusting perfectly um i got him so many like so many things i got him a crate like a playpen his own bed some toys yeah he's my first ever pet that um, i personally own so he's gonna be so spoiled i just know it but i'm dedicated to really really train him well and um, he'll become a well-behaved dog so a little bit more about my puppy is that he is a mix of St. Bernard and um, Great Pyrenees so um, I've been getting a lot of compliments on like um, his appearances which like he looks he looks nice like he looks like a stud <laughs> if, like I say so myself When I was looking to adopt a dog, I honestly didn't look too much um, on the outside, like what they looked like. Because a lot of those dogs, you can easily just groom them and take care of them. And then they'll, they'll kind of be transformed in a way, like having a makeover. 
Um, but I was mainly looking for medium to big size dogs, uh, which there wasn't that many and um, and I wanted a puppy too. So there was kind of a few um, few major criteria that I was um, requirements that I was looking for personally um, in terms of getting a dog. So because I have been looking for quite a while, like a couple months I would say. That's why when I found him, I was just like, on the day of, I went to visit him. Um, I saw the mom and dad. Even though he's not like adopted, um, he was an unplanned litter and um, the guy was selling it for like really cheap, pretty much um, the same amount as you would uh, as you would pay adopting a dog. So I was just like, I thought about it and I decided to get him. Um, yeah. I'm really glad I did. He's like, he's really adorable. He he has great temperament. Like he barely barks. He's a really chill dude. <laughs> he is nine weeks as of this week. And Although he's still pretty young, he's already getting pretty big. And when I carry him, like th there needs to be some kind of effort that goes into it, cause he's a little bit heavy. Um, last time, uh, last week when we went to the vet, um, they told me that he weighed. I think it was 20, 20 ish pounds. Uh, I think that's around nine kilograms, which is pretty heavy. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the big news, big um, new thing that um, that's going on in my life. I don't know if I should show you guys this food just cause it looks kind of eh when like mixed up but I'll show you guys anyways here you go take a bite of that yes So pretty much um, the past week and a half um, have been crazy because I just got a new puppy and I'm just trying to also adjust my lifestyle to um, training him, potty training him, um, taking care of him, um, regular um, time, uh, meals at regular times um, to help with the potty training. So, so yeah. I think the first few days, um, he woke me up in the middle of the night, like at 3 a.m. Um, so he can go to the bathroom. And honestly, I was totally prepared for that because, well, I wanted to get a puppy. So I, ha I do have to train him from the ground up. And, you know, um, puppies don't, um, they have to go to the bathroom like once every hour or so. So you have to keep taking him out, which is good because 
Um, I work from home so I can just take care of him. Um, I have a really flexible schedule which allows me to um, kind of supervise him pretty much all day except for like running errands two to three hours or like um, taking a class. So what else about my dog? So pretty much I've just been tr potty training it, teaching him like basic um, house manners like like sit, shake paw, lay down, um, even some tricks like high five, um, roll over, mm, what else? Still teaching him like no, like not doing something, and yes, this is like good, like you can bite on this kind of thing. Um, he is, um, he bites a lot, <laughs> which I expected that because he is a puppy and he's teething, um, so he does bite a lot. And I actually, I got bitten so many times from him. I don't know if you can tell, but there are. Um, a bunch of like marks and scratches I got from him um, which actually kind of hurts because he has really sharp teeth um, so I'm trying to teach him like he can't bite me like humans um, and other animals I guess um, and but he can he can bite his toys so it, like we're still working on that so hopefully he like picks it up and gets it soon because i really i don't want to get bitten <laughs> anymore like it hurts i got so many marks on my arms and and my legs too like when he's excited he just like he just keeps on biting and like he just doesn't listen But so far, having him is brings like brings me a lot of joy, and yeah, I just I think that this is actually a pretty good training um, before I have my own kid because this is taking care of a puppy is probably easier than taking taking care of a kid. I don't know if that's a far fact, but because I never had a kid but I would assume so. <laughs> Take a bite. Yum. Yeah, so I don't think I said, but my puppy's name, his name is Aslan. So if you've ever watched Narnia or read the books, you would know who I'm talking about. I, I love that movie. I love that, that. I love those series. Excuse me. So how I knew about um, Narnia was because I think in grade five we were required to read this book um, for one of our classes. So the first book called *The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe*. Um, yeah, that's what we read for like our English or like language arts class and by the time we finished the book um, our teacher also let us watch the movie um, yeah and recently I rewatched the series and I loved it so much it, it kind of made me cry um, yeah I get really emotional during movies
checking out my dog. <laughs> He's just taking like the best nap ever. Like laying down like a human. <laughs> it's so cute. So I hope you guys like these videos so far. Um, I, I really like filming these mukbangs because it's like I'm not doing anything extra, you know what I mean? Like I'm eating, which is what I do, what I have to do every day. Um, and I'm combining it with editing the video which is something I really enjoy doing. Um, I also really like how I'm filming these and like creating memories that I can look back on. Like even um, the last video, um, the one I filmed with my friend JC, I keep on rewatching it while I'm editing it. And I don't know, it just, I would be super glad to have this video to look back on um, maybe like five, ten years later. Um, I just feel like like pictures are great, but nothing says a story like a film. Am I right? Hmm. <laughs> stretching <laughs> yeah maybe next time next time I'll show you guys because right now he's asleep and like I don't want to mess up my camera angle and everything <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably show you guys my puppy next time <sighs> so good mm. so I'm almost Almost done. Just a little bit more. I haven't really been showing you guys my bites because, I mean, they don't look super appetizing. It's just, it's just that. Yes, yummy. Mm. Mm. That was really salty. I think the only complaint I would have with Chipotle is that like their chips, sometimes they're kind of like seasoned unevenly. And so some bites you'll get one with a lot of that um, that lemon flavor and some chips will have a lot of sea salt on it which makes it really salty um yeah but i like how it's fresh like i i'm pretty sure they make it fresh every day or at least that's what i heard Okay, yeah, that was that was my puppy just simmering. <laughs> Are you okay, baby? Okay, that was not snoring. That was like that was like a wheezing or like. It sounded like he was having a hard time breathing. I don't know. I hope he's okay. Uh, okay. I think I think he's okay now. Wow, that that kind of freaked me out. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, you guys could hear that, but that was weird. Almost done. Maybe like three more bites left.
I'm getting full. Like Chipotle portions are really good and they actually like really fill you up. There's so much salt on this one. I'm gonna pick it off a little bit. Otherwise it's gonna be super salty. There we go. Get everything. Okay. One last bite. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Oh, yum. Okay. Have some chips left. I don't know if I'm gonna finish this all. <clears throat> so I'm pretty full already. But we'll have a couple more. So I think this week is going to be mostly sunny. Um, I do eventually want to do like a hot pot series because I love hot pot and I can cook in front of you guys and my food would be steaming hot and not cold when I'm filming. Um, and I think it'll be um, really fun to watch as well. So. Uh, yeah, let me know if that's something you want to see uh, because I'm actually really excited to do a hot pot series. I think hot pot is one of those meals that it's just, it's, it's so good to eat during the fall and winter time because it's really cold outside and it's one of those comfort foods but it's also healthy, you know. Mmm. So good. I still have some chips left. But I think I'm gonna just leave it till later as like a snack or something. Okay. So I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you do enjoy this video, if you did enjoy this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Um, you can also support me by subscribing to this channel and following me on Instagram. That will be in the description box. Um, just comment whatever you want to see, um, whatever foods you want to see me eat or whatever um, topics you want me to discuss in these videos or what to talk about. Um, yeah, I would love to take your guys' opinions into consideration. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I know I said I'll show you my puppy in my next video, but he's just, he's super cute right now because he's sleeping. And I just, I just want to show you guys right now. Just let me take a look at him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, isn't he cute? Let's see if I can get him without waking him up. Oh my god, look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> so hopefully you guys would see more of him in the future um, when he's awake. <laughs>